So we're going to take a look at how to create a loopback so that we can we can recreate that similar experience that you get in Windows 10 when you have a headset on and you have a microphone and then you'll hear it in one side of your headset. Windows 10 by opening the sound control panel, selecting your microphone and then going to the listen tab and checking listen to this device. We can monitor the audio quality, the volume levels, the signal in general. Well, you can do a similar thing here on Kubuntu. So we're just going to open up a terminal. And then we've already called this command. But the command is PACTL space load dash module space module dash loopback space latency underscore msec equals. And then you can determine what millisecond delay you want to put. We're going to use one millisecond delay so that it's links to no delay. It's instant. And then we're going to press enter after we input that command. And we're going to post this command in the video description below. So let's press enter on the keyboard. And now we should then we should be able to hear our voice through our headset. Achieving that similar experience that you receive in Windows 10 when you open the sound control panel and then choose your recording device and then check listen to this device so that you can monitor your recording while it's going through the microphone. So hopefully this helps get audio working more efficiently on your system as well. The lower the latency, the more system resources it'll utilize, but the more instantaneous the sound will be in your headset. We're going to set it to one, so there's virtually no delay, but you could set it to however many milliseconds you want. 2,000 or... Wait, no, 2,000 is crazy. <laughs> That's definitely the wrong number. Hang on, let's take a look at the sound card and see what they set. What's the milliseconds on the EVGA? New audio. Sample. Latency. Set to 2048 samples. The latency is 15.17 milliseconds. So you could use something like that. You could use 15, 12 if you want to lower some system resources. But we have a pretty fast system, so we're not going to worry about that. We just want the instantaneous sound. So we're going to put one could play around with what works best for your system and unfortunately you have to run this every time you restart but you can just open a terminal we run a previous command you can just press the up arrow on the keyboard and that will cycle back through your previous command entries we're going to put that command down in the video description below so if you want to copy it and then paste it into the terminal you can do that and then you can just recall it later using the up arrow on your keyboard and then you can open up the pulse audio and from the pulse audio control you can take a look and you can mute different different sources and change the volumes and things like that when you have a headset on and you have a microphone and you want to listen to the microphone through the headset